Hey everybody. Now we're going to move on to our leaf lesson. This first leaf, I'm going to create a brown stem and do some green leaves. And so I'm going to use my size eight silver black velvet for the stem. So I'm gonna load it up with some brown. This is burnt umber. And then I'm going to take my quill and I'm gonna load that up with some green, hooker's green and sap green mixed together. So I'm gonna have both brushes loaded and there's a method to my madness. So I'm going to use the very tip with very light pressure. And I'm going to create kind of a C and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna move my arm from my elbow. I'm not moving my wrist. And I'm touching very lightly to the paper. So what I'm gonna do is do the first two branches. So I'm gonna have these branches going out this way and these ones going out the other way. That's gonna be just slightly above it. The reason why I wanna do that is because I want the brown to bleed into the green. So I'm gonna match my tip up to that. I'm gonna go right over that brown. I'm gonna do the same here. And then I'll do the next two. I'll make this one a little smaller. It's good to vary the sizes of the leaves. And the next ones, I'm going to rinse some of the water, I mean some of the paint out to get a lighter value. looks so pretty that blend I love it I'm gonna pick up a little more more paint Rinse in some of the paint out again to get another one with light value. And then I'm going to get some more paint on my brush and the final leave at the tip. Gonna add some more paint. So we can do leaves like that. You can practice this a bunch of times. When I was doing some warm-ups yesterday and this morning, I always start just like a full page just to warm up to, to get my, um, my creative juices flowing, but also to warm up my hand. So I did that same leaf like this with a little bit of a darker green. And this morning I did some here. Um, so like no matter how long you've been painting, you still need to have that little bit of warm up. Just a musician needs to practice their skills before they go into their pieces. Okay, so next up, I'm going to I think maybe add a little bit of olive green to the green I already have in my palette, just to change up the color because it makes it more fun. And we're gonna do a smaller, and I'm going to. Maybe go this way. And I'm just going to do tiny, delicate leaves. I'm going to do a slight stem here at the tip. And then I'm just going to press just a little bit. And it's okay if they're not all the same. It's actually good because it makes it a little more interesting. I'm gonna rinse some of that off so I can get a lighter value going. You could even maybe let's mix some yellow so we get a little bit of a different shade of green.
and then leave at the top. So that's another way to do some leaves. Take some yellow ochre. And we're gonna do leaves. We're gonna do thinner, shorter. And I'm just starting, um, again, I'm just doing a thin line that I'm pressing and then I'm releasing. And I'm putting a little bit of, you know, kind of wiggle it. So there's that, you can do them all. Let's see, let's add some green to that. So you can do them all, that kind of wiggly like this, which makes it really interesting. See, I'm just kind of wiggling it. So that's a really pretty one there. You can do some bigger, fatter ones. You can even make them two-toned. Let's take some Booker's green. And then I'm going to add some Prussian blue for the other side. And kind of mix them up together. Now I've got Prussian blue on my brush. So I'm going to dip into the green that's on my palette. And it just kind of mixes and blends right there. And it makes this really beautiful green, uh, blue-green. I'll add a little bit more indigo, I mean Prussian blue. And see, you can see the green was still on my brush over there. And then the blue kind of blended into it. So pretty. I love this. I could do this all day. Um, so we can create... Maybe make sure that they're separated a little bit more. See how that blended right on the page. So you can do leaves like that. And you can do longer leaves. You can do them like this. You can bring that line down here. So just practice these, have fun with them, and you know, see which style of leaves you like better. And we're just gonna move right on to the fillers. Some of the fillers are going to be, I'm gonna start with this yellow ochre. And I'm going to make very delicate then leaves like this. You can do this one. That's what we're going to do. I'll show you one more time and I'll do it this time. You can do it in red. You can do it any color that you want. So you're just gonna practice with varying the pressure on your brush and see what your particular brush work, how it works for you. So let's make some berries. I'm gonna get some red with a little bit of this green just so they're not so red. It makes it a nice deep red right here. 
And I'm just going to make some circles. You can just draw them out like that. You can leave a little white to have show like a highlight. They don't have to be perfectly round. All right, I'm going to take my liner brush. You can use green, you can use brown, whichever color you want. You can use yellow. I'm going to take some brown. And if I touch the red first, it might drag some of that red into the brown, which looks very pretty. See how nice and easy it is to make stems, really thin stems with this brush. Um, we can do the same thing with, this is Windsor Yellow. And I'm going to make them a little bit more oval. You can do however many you want. You can make these bigger, smaller. And I'm going to get, I think I'll get green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the brush into the yellow so some of the green is going to actually blend into the yellow. This one is going to be kind of behind this one as well as this one. You can do it like that. You can also, let's see, let's add. You can leave the berries like this or you can add little tops to them with some brown. Like that. Another filler. I'm gonna use this liner to create some stems. I'm going to create three and then I'm going to take a different brush. I think I'll take my size four, the Princeton Neptune, and I'm going to take some yellow. I've got Windsor yellow with a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to go over those lines again because I want it to kind of bleed into the yellow a little bit. So let's just start with that one. I'm going to start up here and I'm going to just make little, just little dots. Like this. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre, just for a little bit of a deeper color and some color variation. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. It's just little dots so these are nice and easy to make they add a really lot of um, they add a lot of 
beauty to your painting. And see a lot of the green, I love that. A lot of the green bled into the yellow. Adding a little bit of yellow ochre. Careful it's not too wet because it can really flood these. And then the final one. Kind of lean it over this way. See, there's a little too much water on my brush. So let's make in puddles. And then some yellow ochre. For the color variation. All right, so these are the fillers that we're going to use in this month's lesson. You can make these orange, you can make them any color you'd like. Just wanted to show you a few different color options. Um, they don't even have to be what you see in nature. They could be Payne's Gray, um, and they're still gonna add a really beautiful moodiness and um, earthiness to your pieces. All right, guys, I want you to practice, practice, practice. As always, fill up pages in your journal or even fill up uh, the back sides of other paintings that you've done that you don't want to use. And I will see you in the next lesson where we're going to get into painting flowers.